Bear with me. Bear with me. Okay. Namaste, everyone. My name is Greg Prescott, and I'm from In5D.com. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Hi to uh, Yolanda, Kara, Kelly, Elaine, Barbara, Amy, uh, Amber, Maravik, Jennifer, Elga, Inga. Hi. Namaste. Welcome. Thank you for all the little hearts on the bottom. I love them and the thumbs up and everything. And even the little nasty, angry face right there from one of my people that don't like me. But that's okay. Um, there's a lot of things I want to cover, and I'm going to probably cover them in a short period of time. Um, these are things that really have to be covered. And I, I've encouraged people to journalize everything because these changes that are going on are really important. Even, even if they're like really little changes that are going on in your life. And that's what we're seeing right now. We're seeing more and more of these Mandela effects going on. Um, and I just had one recently, again, uh, gosh, it was two days ago. Uh, Michelle and I are back together. Yay. And um, we were at this one little restaurant right down the street, uh, Captain Kurtz. Not Captain Kirk from Star Trek, but <laughs> Captain Kurtz. And uh, it's a little tiki bar. We were there having dinner. And um, I ordered, well, it, they have what they have to drink there is crap anyway. Um, so it was either a mixed drink or a soda. So I ordered a Mountain Dew, which I have had there in the past. And she said, we don't carry Mountain Dew. I go, of course you do. We were just here like a few months ago and we had dinner and I had a Mountain Dew. She goes, she goes no, we don't carry that. I go, how long have you worked here? She goes, six years. <laughs> Michelle's my witness. I've had Mountain Dew there and it was this year and it was last year and it was six years ago or five years ago. Not anymore. Doesn't happen anymore. Another uh, Mandela effect that we've been experiencing, I have this, um, it's it, this program called Tiger Stream. And you basically get free cable uh, through streaming. So whatever you want to watch, you get it basically for free, Tiger Stream. You can look it up online. And uh, so you have all these different repositories that you go to and, and look up whatever movie you want to watch. Uh, we just saw the movie 222 a few days ago. That was pretty cool. Um, and you'll notice the synchronicities of 222 coming up in all throughout your day, I'm sure, at least twice a day. Um, if not more through, maybe you'll get $2.22 and change. But anyway, getting back to Tiger Stream and the Mandela Effect, all the repositories are different. <laughs> so where we used to go to look for movies, they don't exist anymore. So just another small change and what you're going to notice are all these little changes that are going on in your life so pay really close attention to what's going on around you and these are your confirmations that reality is changing that the timelines are converging that it's all changing every millisecond every thought you have is changing reality and that's why it's really be really cognizant about where you're putting your thoughts and intentions because that is manifesting reality. So another thing I want to talk about is the Ascension flu. And I know that, you know, just reading Facebook and looking at the, you know, what's, what's going on in the news and all, a lot of people have gone through this Ascension flu. Um, and, you know, I'm no different. I had that, um, it was really the worst around December 19th through the 22nd. And on the 19th, my temperature, I was taking my temperature 
every day. And on the 19th, my temperature was 103.1, sweating profusely at night. I mean, I'm, you know, I've got this anomaly, which a lot of you do too, because I made a post about it, that at night when you're, when you go to sleep normally, your body temperature goes down, but mine rises. It doesn't matter whether I'm sick or not, but when I had this Ascension flu, it was, it was even worse. So <laughs> I'm pretty hot right now, sweating. But, um, Oh my God, my hair is a mess. I don't care. Um, so anyway, yeah. So I was taking my, my temperature and documenting each day what was going on, you know, whether I was sweating at night, what kind of medications or what I was doing holistically to take care of it as well. Cause I would, you know, I figured, okay, well, if I take a thousand milligrams of vitamin C three times a day, that'll knock it out. Usually it knocks out anything, but this was very resilient and it was a tough one to beat. Anyway, I did get over it, and I was taking my temperature from that point before it started, actually at the midpoint of where it was the worst, ever since then. And every day I've noticed that, especially for the last nine days, I take my temperature, and it's, it's, it's always below 90, where is it, 97.4 right there, the last time I took it. But... um. It's always below 98. So, and then I made a post on my Facebook wall as well as on the N5D um, Facebook page asking people, take your temperature. And so far, the responses I've gotten back, most people's temperatures are below normal, um, which is, you know, normal is supposed to be 98.6. Mine is close to a full degree below normal. I had Michelle do it yesterday. She was a full degree, actually 1.1 degree below normal. And uh, so what I want you guys to do is to, um, you know, take your temperatures and not just post them on here on the video, what your temperature is, but also go back to my Facebook wall and post your results there because this is what we're doing. We're journalizing everything that's going on and we're putting the pieces of the puzzle together. And th this, I have a feeling, is a really big piece because we're changing. Things are changing inside. And this is why a lot of people are noticing that not only just myself, Michelle's the same way. When we sleep at night, our body temperature rises. That's not normal either. Like I said, normally your body temperature goes down when you sleep. Mine goes up. You know, I've talked about this before. I have this rare sleep anomaly where I go to bed at night and immediately I go into the dream state. Um, a while back I had this sleep study done because I was overweight and I had sleep apnea and I was basically choking on my snoring. And uh, so then I went to have this sleep study done and they hooked all these electrodes up all over my body. They monitored my sleep patterns. They didn't find anything unusual except that I get zero deep sleep at night. Immediately, as soon as I go into sleep, I dream and I dream all night. Did you ever catch yourself just nodding off like this? And you bob back up again. I can have that happen and have like a three hour dream by the time my head hits my by the time my chin hits my chest and pops back up again. Um, so that's just another strange thing that's going on um, with the body temperature going up. So if you're experiencing that, you know, if at night, make a comment down here. Uh, let people know all these things that are happening that are not normal because things are changing right now so fast and quickly. We need to document all this stuff. And this is why I'm doing this video right now, not only did I make the posts on Facebook, but I'm putting the video out and I'll make this video into a video on YouTube to reach those people that aren't on Facebook that are missing this live interaction with us. And uh, so, you know, it's important, get that information out there. I can't emphasize that enough, okay? Another thing I wanna to cover too, as real as all this seems, it's not. None of this is real. And it just seems so real. The only thing that's real is love. That's the only thing that could possibly be real. It's like that song, Strawberry Fields, uh, the Beatles song. Strawberry fields, nothing is real. 
nothing's real. None of this is real. Uh, it seems so real. You know, we're, we're, our consciousness is experiencing everything right now. We're, it just, and that's it. It's just experiencing this our conscious, as our consciousness. You think there's this body attached to it and there's this big picture behind me. It's, none of it's real. And then our, what we're doing is we're co-creating. Our consciousnesses are co-creating with each other. So we have our individual consciousness making this, having this experience, plus the consciousness of everyone else co-creating, creating this, which is making the Mandela effect as well, creating our reality as we go on uh, and converging all these timelines as we go on. <laughs> it gets really convoluted. It gets really deep. And if you're just getting into this stuff right now, it's probably way over your head. But I think most of you that are listening right now know exactly what I'm talking about. And uh, so it's just what these Mandela effects are, are, are confirmations of everything that's happening, of, of these timelines converging. And it's happening fast and furious. And what we're going to see is this timeline is going to be speeding up. Terrence McKenna talked about it. You know, when he talks about the time wave zero, that we're spiraling towards the singularity. And as we're spiral, spiraling, it's getting faster and faster and faster. So these things are going to keep happening faster and faster and faster. And like, who was it? Uh, oh, what was his name? Neil Lungold said that what, what's going to happen is eventually everything is going to happen at the same time. <laughs> so hold on to your, <laughs> don't hold on to yourself, get your seatbelt on, get prepared for some really, really crazy things that are going to be happening really soon. Um, our whole reality is going to be changing quickly. Um, even this month is going to be a huge month. You're going to see changes. Our world's not going to be the same in February or March as it is right now. It's happening this quickly. So be ready. Um, love. I can't express that enough. Forgive, express gratitude, get out there, enjoy nature, you know, make that connection and main, maintain a high vibration and we'll all get through this. And remember, don't take, take things so seriously too. This is just an experience. Okay. Don't, don't feel so overly guilty about something you might've done. Own it. Okay. That's huge. Own everything that you've done and, and realize that it's just the experience and you'll get through it a lot easier. No bad, no matter how badly it may seem and how bad some of these experiences we chose to have in this consciousness, it's okay. We'll get through it, but expect really, really, really big changes coming up real soon. So I'm going to leave it off at, at that. Thank you everyone so much for joining me. And uh, I'll talk to everyone real soon. I'm sorry I haven't had a N5D Facebook Live in a while. It's been probably at least three weeks. So I'll try to get back on again. Namaste, everyone. I love you all so very much. Bye.